This is McDonald's Kung Fu Panda 2 Happy Meal Toys number 5 Lord Shan Mind Game of Madness And uh, here to show you what the toy looks like inside the bag um, You know, the usual uh, McDonald's toy plastic bag here uh, It said Kung Fu Panda 2 Lord Shan Mind Game of Madness And the number 5 and um, the uh, instruction is a lot easier this time. Even if uh, I mean, even if you're five years old, you can just look at the picture and play around with the toys, and you will uh, know how to operate it. You don't have to be an adult for this. You know? So uh, here are pictures of all eight toys that will be available to you at your local McDonald's restaurant. The specific challenge for this one is that how many feathers can you press in without launching the cannon? Uh, challenge your friends and family so the short version will be that you have to push in the projectile all the way in until you hear a click and you have to press down all three feathers without launching this thing out so the last one will be the one that to launch uh, this out so if you can do that you win right very easy easy uh, I mean, even if you don't know how this thing works, just push it in and then press down all four. I'm sure this thing will go out. Um, I have never seen this one before. I don't exactly know how the mechanism works. But uh, when you push this one in, it's going to set one of these four feathers uh, to become one of the uh, trigger button. So, let me try if I can press down the first three without launching it. Okay, the thing is re I realize is that um, n never push down the one feather that is, that is next to the one that you just pushed down. I mean, you, you kind of have to press this one and this one or this and this and you know, it will be a lot easier. S you see that? And this one just launched. So let me try again. And it's launched again. Okay. Alright. And there I have it. You know, the first three without launching it, and this one is gonna launch. There you go. You know, it's, it's, it's nothing of a mind game or a, a no madness. It's just a mechanism, and it's just a matter of pushing down all these three. And by the way, these four feathers are spring loaded. And here's a, uh, a look at the back of the toys. I haven't seen the movie. I don't know uh, if this guy had this cannon or not. But if you want to, I mean, I mean, if you want a cannon itself, you can go to Toys R Us and buy the Golden Cannon for fifteen dollars by Mattel. You know, I just can't find myself. I just can't convince myself to get that one. So, and here is the uh, side comparison with Pose. Uh. Again, I haven't seen the movie, so I don't know how exactly this guy is going to compare to Poe, but as of right now, he's, he seems alright. Not so bad. The pain, the pain is also alright, you know, just a few uh, smudge that the gray got onto the white there, and the gray of his outfit, is it is nightly uh, painted and very clean. Same with the red and the black on his uh, feather. You know, this guy is a peacock. And, you know, just one scene from the trailer that I've seen this guy. You know, this guy looks beautiful. Too bad he is a bad guy. <laughs> but I am very curious to see this guy on, um, to see this guy in action. See how he is, you know, see how he would fight. But anyway, uh, a good gimmick, but it is something that uh, only if you're bored and you have nothing to do, you, you know, you get to play around with with these buttons. But uh, definitely, definitely a kid item, not for a doll collector. But uh, you know, it could be a nice toy for your kid. You know, even if you're not interested, just buy it for your kid to make them <laughs> happy. So, yeah, it's a kid item. I mean. In, I mean, if you love the the movie, you don't have to be, uh, you, you know, you can buy this if you're on the door. So, I, you know, I would recommend this for uh, uh, the movie fans. Thanks for watching.